Okay. The next battle for putting up more steel. I didn't know you were videoing. I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> Warm today. Shorts. Those steel and shorts. Still uh, a little bit smoky in the air. <laughs> uh, if you didn't see my last video, I show Ariel of the smoke in the air. You can check out my last video, and uh, I'll put it in the link. I'll put it up in the cards. So we got the other side set. We're over halfway done on that side. We only ordered enough steel to do 90 feet and we have, it's 160 foot long. So um, we're over halfway done on that side until we order the next batch of steel. Now we're gonna um, do the same on this side. This side, the steel is a little bit longer and um, we're actually gonna use the platform on the tractor to lift the steel up. Hopefully it'll be easier because we couldn't on the other side due to the corn and the irrigation line. So, um, yeah, we gotta load the few sheets, probably five sheets or so, onto the platform. Or are we doing one at a time? We'll put five on. Five on, and then lift it up to them. There we go. I don't think we need to tie it down. In years past, we've tied it down because it's windy, but not windy today. Not super windy anyways. The workers are waiting for us. Well, we're getting there. Um, we've put up 10 sheets so far. Well, I haven't, but the kids have. Welcome back. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my garden today and taking you along on a little bit of a garden tour. And then mom said I can show you guys my goats. That's awkward. So mom said, mom said I get to show you my goats. But maybe we shouldn't say that. <laughs> So we're in Mackenzie's garden area. How many beds do you have? Nine, I think. Nine raised beds. Plus she's got, oh, 10? Yeah. 10 raised beds. In this whole entire area, I have um, my squashes, watermelons, cantaloupes. The, this one has majority of my melons. Will you stop? And then in this other one right here, I had potatoes. So I planted a whole bunch of potatoes and they actually did really good. So there I are, wanted more potatoes and I threw them there. They're a later planting potato. Yeah, I didn't have any of this here before. Um, so this was, is just planted within the last few, couple weeks. Yeah. I have asparagus coming up. This is all asparagus. I planted this a long time ago and they're all kind of looking a little they need a drink, but they're doing all right. Yeah. I have onions all along here. Um, peppers and then tomatoes are up along there. So I planted a whole row of zucchini. That one's not doing so hot, but if I lose it, it's okay because I have a lot of zucchini. She tried me. transplanting one, so that's why it's just not looking super great. 
And then I have cucumber that's all gonna vine up. I do have- Oh, you gotta get these off. These are squash bugs. No, yeah, squash. That's a stink bug. Nope, these are squash bugs. They will destroy, they'll lay their eggs. Really? They'll get, yeah. These are cucumbers? Yeah. Some of them aren't doing too well. I well, feel like they they're do doing really good. They look good. It's just that we've had an infestation of cucumber beetles, and they just started about this week, I would say. Yeah. And it's been, I think I probably killed at least 400 of them. I and, mean, you're just well, there's them. a squash bug. Um, just squish their heads is what I do. <laughs> So squash bugs and cucumber beetles are a problem, but we don't, we try to grow everything organically so we don't spray or put like seven dust down. I have more tomatoes here because I planted a ginormous amount of tomatoes and I could not get all of them into the beds. So she actually planted them twice as thick as she did here and then I advised her to remove every other About one at least. Half. Them. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I got some dill. Dill's growing good. Dill? Um, more tomatoes. This is a really pretty vining flower that I got. And that one I want to grow up and like kind of just grow up. So, grow up? Yeah, Beautiful. Pretty good. Um, I have pole beans here. Pole beans? Yep, they're growing pretty good. They, uh, they're getting there takes time and then once they get going my peas did really good um, they're producing good yeah I do have a couple watermelon plants planted under them seeing if they'll come up my beans are doing good green beans green beans and then I have actually some burgundy beans I have so many little bugs do you yeah. see them all? I have pole beans here along this trellis and then more cucumbers back there Okay. Um, I have a couple squash plants planted um, on this one here. Um, that's a perennial that wanted to come up. And then I have cucumbers all the way along. That's all cucumbers? Oh boy, she's going to have so much. <laughs> so many. I don't think she realizes it. I think that a lot of them are dying. They're not dying. You see them? They're getting eaten alive. They'll be fine. Then more tomatoes. These are more zucchini plants. Because you can never have too much zucchini. <laughs> I don't know. I've got onions. This bed has parsley, basil, some carrots, and then more onions. Yeah, and then mom's cows got out and they ate this one and this one. They stepped on this one and this one. It, once the neck is broke, then they're done. What? Yeah. Like this? Yeah, most likely. Um, yeah, once that, once this neck gets broken, the onion can't, it, it can't grow. I tried so hard. Peppers, mom's cows got out again and <laughs> ate my pepper plant. Look at these guys. They, they wanted, were doing so good. They were going to be a bush. Yeah, they're going to be but, a bush. We'll see how well they recover. Yeah, I do have some beets in here, but as you see, this is a very nice detailed print of a cow hoof. And they decided to step on your beets. Step on beets. And I didn't have, like, my beets didn't come up too. They look good. Those and look those too are because they come up later. Earlier yeah, planted. Yeah, I those. These are all just flowers. I did plant a zucchini plant there, but I don't care if it makes it or not. <laughs> I hope that. Once it dies, it'll just, I can plant peppers there. You can't plant peppers. Why? It's almost July. Why? Well, you can. Never mind. Why can't I? It's getting late in the season. I have peppers over there that need to get in the ground. Oh, okay. So these are morning glory, zinnias, what, moon? Moon, moon flowers. flowers. I got four o'clock and like, all kinds of flowers. Yeah, just like flowers. Pretty. Yeah, I've got a couple more flowers. They're gonna grow up in this trellis area. Yeah, if they'd ever get up there. They will. Believe sure? me, they will. 
Morning, uh, morning glories, definitely. It's almost July and they haven't gotten them. No, yet. you wait. By August, you're gonna have so many vines. You will be like, just look at how thick you planted them. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Be what crazy. is this? Those are my hollyhocks. Oh, hollyhocks. Yeah, yeah, those won't flower this year. No. And then what's on the back side? I have side? moon flowers all in the moon. Box. Oh, and you have a pretty red mm -hmm. strawberry. strawberry. I did have. This is a little poppy in here. It's a what? A poppy. These hollyhocks died. <laughs> These ones. Nice garden. I didn't get going there. I think I have a tree growing in here. You do. A little maple tree. Okay. Yeah, so strawberries. I have more squash over there. More squash. Over by her chicken coop, she has sunflowers and potatoes. Oh, I have summer squash on the back side, and then I have raspberry bushes on the one wall. Too. Oh. Cute. Looks like it's doing good, taking good care of it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Baby. They know Kenzie's voice. Hi guys. Yeah. She doesn't know what to do. The babies are getting so big. I know. Let's see if I can catch them. Are they friendly? Still nursing. She need a little drink. All right, so we got all the roof on that we had steel for. We bought this steel for the roof and we bought half of this steel um, just to split the cost up because steel's expensive right now. But we got half the roof done. Now we have all the steel that we actually took off the original barn from my folks' old farm. And if you don't know, the barn that we're building, this hay barn, um, a lot of the material is repurposed material and you can watch the video I'll post it up above of uh, us tearing that barn down um, and the reason behind it all and all that um, and th anyway so this steel we have sheets we have sheets and sheets of steel that came off the roof of the old barn and we're gonna use that on the sides but what was on the roof is very very dirty um, of course it's been sitting for almost a year here but be when we took it down it was really dirty and you can see this black soot that just sits on the top so it's my job so my job today is to wash the steel with this with just a scrub brush here um, and yeah it's a beautiful day to be able to get your feet wet and work in the water because it's hot uh, still a haze in the air from the smoke and yeah garden seems to be doing good just watered it but anyway I'm gonna keep plugging along as we're gonna start putting the ends we're gonna start putting the ends of the steel up here um, hopefully start today Sydney has been gone to camp all week long and he's been at a, 
uh, junior high camp. He's not there as participating, but as a leader. And so he's been there all week. And he comes home. Well, he'll be home before you guys. He'll be home before you guys actually see this video. But he hasn't helped with the roof this week. And when he gets home, he'll probably need to be. He'll probably need to rest up after being with a bunch of junior high kids. Um, so I don't know how much he will help put the steel up. So yeah, that's what's happening around the farm today. Gonna introduce the main group of chickens with the new group. We just put the chicken tractor inside the, the temporary fence. They'll follow you. Well. Yeah. Well, they'll follow me. <laughs> That's you're more beautiful. Ah. There goes the rooster. All my baby turkey chicks are in here as well because they kept getting out of the pen that they were in and they kept wanting to be in here where the mom actually is and so I just let them be because everybody else seems to be okay with them in here. Oh boy. Why you gotta be mean? They're males. The females don't care. What is this? Did he just make that? Yeah. Is that what he's been doing all day? Yeah, that's what he's been working on. Good grief. What gives him these ideas? I think he gets it from you. <laughs> yeah, what did he get from you? The tender hearted, yeah. I need a hug, those kinds of things. No, when I was younger, I, it was fun to have that little thing. Nice gas can. Sydney's home. He got home yesterday while they were working on the on the steel. I washed two of the steel and then they put up four more while I was in the house. While I was in the house catching up on Sydney's adventures and stories. So he's super tired, but we're gonna work on I'm fine. <laughs> we're gonna work on um it's the next day by the way. He slept good last night. Anyway, so we're gonna work on some more steel this afternoon. It's very muggy and not much wind, but when we pan out here, the air quality is a lot better today than it has been in quite some time. So that's good, other than the humidity, which is really high right now. Hopefully we'll get some rain this weekend, because um, we haven't had any for a week now, and we could use about an inch a week. That would be good. Good for the growing season. Halfway done. I have to go in and make supper. Tonight we're grilling burgers, so we probably won't work on this much more because uh, Kevin's got a milk tonight. I might help him. We also got to edit this video and yeah. To all my American friends, uh, if I don't 
uh, get a video out before the 4th of July. I wish you all a happy and safe 4th of July, remembering um, the freedom that we have. And um, we will see you in the next video. Take care.